Hello everyone, I'm Albert Castle, and you're watching Humanity Matters. Well, as you know, this is the holiday season and we celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and possibly a few other holidays. And as you know, everyone seems to be busy. A lot of people say that it's more of a festive mood and a lot of times it's time for great great reunions with our families great rejoicing and many gifts and many dinners and many parties and so we celebrate the season and we should celebrate these joyful and miraculous occasions we should have fun but it's also a time for reflection it's also a time to ask why is the season special what does it really mean do we look forward to Christmas if that's the holiday we celebrate or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah because of the gifts because of the food or is it the family but in any case why is this time so important to us and you might say Al you know it's Christmas it's it's it's, it's Kwanzaa it's Hanukkah I don't want to think right now I just want to have fun I want you to have fun but I also always make it a point to bring the humanity into Humanity Matters. So I want you to think about this for a minute. And this is for my guest, my panel, or everyone that ever hears this. I want you to reflect for a minute. Is Christmas, Kwanzaa, and Hanukkah and its importance limited in your life? Do you limit it, I mean, limit the meaning? Do you only get gifts for those you know? Do you only spend time with the people you know? Do you only think about your immediate family, co-workers, schoolmates? And if that's the case, all of us, including myself, need to do better. You see, this really should be the season of giving. And I'm not talking about materialistic giving. I'm speaking about giving of yourself. So here's the challenge, my friends, that I'm bringing to you. Let us say that you love an entity. I, I am a secular type of show. But say you love Jesus, you know, or whom you believe is God or whatever your religion is and pretty much at least three of the religions have similarities so the question now has to be placed upon you is during the rest of the year or even during the season do you truly assume what the season means I'm going to give you a challenge yeah, I know. Jeez, I don't give anybody a break. Uh, I don't even give myself one. Okay, this is the Christmas season. This is Kwanzaa and Hanukkah, right? I want to challenge you. Let's say, for example, you have a vehicle that can fit many people. Maybe you have a large van. Maybe you have a seven-seater car, six seat cedar car, whichever you may have. I want you to do something special for a group that you may not have thought of. Maybe you can contact orphanages, foster homes, um, underprivileged children, uh, clubs, whatever, YMCA, community organizations. I want you to take a group of children or underprivileged or whatever it may be or just neighborhood children doesn't have to be underprivileged it can be anybody underprivileged 
would enjoy it more or appreciate it more is they have less. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to consider getting some extra funds that you may have. I know about the economic ties being tough. But maybe taking two or three children or two or three homebound older adults or any age and believe it or not take them out for ice cream yep take them out for ice cream now it's winter time so you need to find an indoor ice cream place take them out for ice cream or maybe take them out for a dollar movie you know take them out spend some time with these children and you will be doing something for these children or whomever it may be that is going to put a loving feeling loved feeling that they they are cared about into their heart they may not otherwise have maybe you don't have the time to do that so maybe what you can do is call organizations like the Angel Tree or something. Donate three to six gifts. Something that's going to help someone. And let me give you the largest challenge of all. Do this at least three to four times a year. Let's go with four. Let's say do it once in the winter, once in the spring, once in the summer, and what's in the fall. Spend time with others who really can use it. Now maybe you don't have money. You don't have an extra few dollars. You don't have a way to take these children. But maybe you can go to that organization, volunteer at least four times a year for at least an hour. So that's four hours a year. Maybe you're an excellent reader. Maybe you're excellent at math. Maybe you're just good at telling stories. Maybe you're a good listener. Spend time with the the children. Maybe, you know, children kind of agitate you. And you're not really ready for that. But you know of a senior citizen center. Go there. Spend time with people in a nursing home. Spend time with other family members that you haven't contacted in 20 years. Or, Or maybe, just maybe, contact a homeless shelter. Ask if there's any way you can volunteer to serve in some capacity four hours a year. You may just find that your heart and your personal well-being changes dramatically. Because we need to reflect what is so special about the Christmas season. Is it the birth and rebirth of Jesus Christ? What Kwanzaa celebrates? Hanukkah or whatever holiday? And if it is, and if we're really celebrating these great miracles and our great saviors, why then do we limit it to once a year? God, and I'm not Mr. Religious, and you know that, God is not once a year. God is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and he is, or it, or she is eternal. So if you truly want this meaning, this love, this fulfillment, this joy to last in your life, help it to last in other lives. Before I go, a word to the businessmen and women out there. Maybe you own a fast food restaurant. Maybe you own whatever business. A hockey shop. I don't know. Donate at least four times a year. Donate to people who would not otherwise have opportunity and ability. I'm not letting the universities off the hook either. Why not If you're a University of Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon, Carlo College, Robert Morris, Point Park, uh, Chatham College, 
and um, IUP up in Indiana, Penn State, or whatever college you may be. Why not have scholarships, new, brand new scholarships, specifically defined for a group of children, and you put it in a fund so that these children, when they get out of high school, can have at least one to two years of totally paid, tuition-free, uh, your books, your housing, totally free, 100%, for at least one to four years. One to four years. Do you realize what that can do? That's what I want. That's the challenge that I'm asking all of you to do, to give of yourself. And not just to your family, not just to your friends, not just to your co-workers. And you will receive much more in return. That, my friends, is another aspect of Humanity Matters. Our giving, our willingness to share. And mind you, I am not without giving of myself. My financial situation is probably some of the worst I've had in the history of my life for my 47 years. You know what? No matter how tough times get, I find a way to produce at least one episode of Humanity Matters to bring this to you in hopes that maybe I inspire you, maybe I educate you, maybe I entertain you, maybe I, for some reason, you just like watching the show. It does something for you. So no matter how hard times get, I find a way. That's one of my aspects of giving. I also spend time with those who truly need help other than myself. I need help, but even as much as I need help, I can't live my life without helping others. I'm asking you to consider this as well. I've gone over my time allotment. Much of this may not be seen, at least on this episode. Or maybe throughout the next couple of months, you'll be seeing this same video. Maybe even in the summer. And you'll know that it's an old video or shot in the winter. And as a matter of fact, I'm actually shooting this December the 4th, 2011, in the Pittsburgh area. And behind me is a beautiful Christmas tree. I may give you a quick second of that, but that's about it. Because that's not our focus today. Our focus is you. Our focus is reflecting. Our focus is love. Our focus is what is the true meaning. And what can you do this season and at least four times a year to better other people's lives and in fact, enhancing your own life? I know you can do it. I know you can. Because I know that you love humanity as much as I do. I know you love the Lord. Or, or even if you're an atheist, I know that you have great love in your heart counting on you but for now it's dark that's why it's a different type of video and who knows how this is going to work out but I had to try so for now I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas a wonderful Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and whatever other holidays are out there and people from around the globe I want all of you to know that you are important and all of you whether you're the wealthiest person on the face of the earth or the poorest person on the face of the earth, you do matter. You are important. You are needed. You are not a mistake. You are loved. All you need to do is find a way to find that out for yourself. But for all of you, remember that you <coughs> and humanity really does matter. <laughs>